friends. Welcome. I'm so excited to be here with you today. My name is Miss Elaine. And I'm Miss Milana, and we're so glad that you joined us. And now, we're only missing one little hedgehog friend. Hmm, do you remember his name? That's right! And because Hamilton is a hedgehog, he doesn't like loud noises. So let's call him with our gentle voices. A gentle voice sounds like the voice I'm using right now. So on the count of three, let's call him together with our gentle voices. Ready? One, two, three. Hamilton. Let's see if he's gonna come. Oh, he's in his house. I see him. Uh oh, Miss Elaine can't quite get a hold of Hamilton. Oh, oh, what? oh, oh he's got oh. a clue for us. What's that, Hamilton? Oh, do you see what I'm he so has? glad you heard us calling you. We're wondering what you were doing. But but look, boys and girls, Hamilton brought something with him. Mm. Does anyone know what this is? That's right, it's a Bible. Hamilton, were you reading the Bible anytime? <laughs> He loves it. Hamilton says, the Bible tells us the good news about God's love. I wonder if that's a special clue for the big God story today. Oh, that sounds like a great clue. You know, before we get started, do you know where we can find the big God story, Hamilton? Huh, you've got one in your head, that's right. We can find it in God's big book, the Bible. And we know that if it's in God's book, the Bible, that it's really true and that it really happened. And so we read the Bible to learn all about God and all about his son, Jesus. And I know how much you love to help us dig, dig, dig into God's word, and we do too. So let's all stand up together and sing our Bible song. Now it's time to hear God's word, hear God's word, hear God's word. Now it's time to hear God's word, so let's look in the Bible. Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss Gianna and I'm so excited to see you. I'm so glad you're here today for our story from God's big book, the Bible. Now. Just before Jesus returned to heaven, he asked his friends to share God's love with everyone because God wants the whole world to know him. Now, give me a thumbs up if you think Jesus' friends listened to what he said. That's right, they did. And something very special happened when Jesus' friends told others about God because those people decided to love God too. <gasps> now, look at this heart, my friends. The people decided they wanted to follow Jesus just like his friends had. And they wanted to follow Jesus because they heard good news about God's love. I think that every time we hear about God's love, we should give ourselves a big hug. Can you practice with me? Big hug. <laughs> good job. And the good news of God's love <laughs> was going around the world. Jesus' friends shared God's love, and when people heard all about God's love, they wanted to follow him too. And then these people began to share God's love with others. And so then they told someone about it, and then they told someone about it, and it kept going. And soon, Jesus' friends heard all about what was happening, and they were so happy that more and more people were choosing to love God. There was a man named Barnabas, and he came to visit. That's a bit, a bit of a different name. Can you say Barnabas? That's right. And Barnabas loved God. Barnabas was so happy and so excited. Can you show me your happy, excited face? <gasps> That's right, good faces, good job. And do you know why he was happy? I'll tell you, he was happy because he got to see all of the people who were filled with God's love. And he saw how much they loved and cared for people. And when Barnabas left, he told more and more people all about Jesus. And as more and more people heard about God's love, more and more people decided to follow Jesus. So the church grew bigger and bigger and Barnabas needed help teaching all of the people about God's word. Friends, do you remember? What is God's word? That's right. God's word is the Bible, the big God story. And a Bible was Hamilton's clue today. <laughs> 
So Barnabas and his friend Paul helped to teach people all about God. And one day, the people heard that their neighbors weren't going to have enough food to eat. Ooh, can you rub your tummy like you're hungry? Yeah. Ooh, it's not fun to be hungry. So what do you think the people did? They collected money and food, and they sent the money and the food to their neighbors so that they wouldn't be hungry. Isn't that awesome? Do you think they showed God's love to others? That's right, they did. They gave people food and money when they needed it, and the people cared for others. They showed God's love. The people had been learning all about God's love, and they were filled with God's love, and they shared God's love. Friends, God loves you too, and he will fill you with his love. And when you have God's love, you can share his love with others. So, let's pray and thank God for his love. You can repeat after me. Ready? Here we go. Dear God, thank you so much for loving me and help me to share your love with everyone. We love you, God. Amen. <laughs> Good job, guys. And thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you later. You know, I love how Barnabas, Paul, and the church people shared God's love with everyone. We've been learning a memory verse together, and so I think we should practice it together right now because it reminds us how God will help us tell others about Him and His love. So let's say it together. It goes like this. The Lord is ready to help all those who call out to Him. Psalm 145, 18. Let's try it once more and we'll all say it together this time. The Lord is ready to help all those who call out to Him. Psalm 145, 18. You are all so good at saying our verse. It's been so fun learning together today. It has. God is love. We hope you'll join us next time. And remember, God loves you so much. And we do too. Bye, friends. Bye. God's will.